Hey, what's up guys? I am here in Pattaya and I have to say, uh, I like it. I like it. It's different. It is way different than I thought it was going to be. I honestly heard that this was going to be a crazy party town and there was just going to be chaos and strip clubs and hookers. And uh, to be honest, it's, it's mellow. <laughs> uh, and I tried to uh, find these crazy places. I went to, uh, there was a, a place called Walking Street. Heard a lot about it. This was supposed to be the the Sin City, uh, whatever, and so I took the uh, motorbike that I was renting and I went to Sin City and it was, I thought it was pretty dead, to be honest, there was... You could tell it was probably crazy at one time. Apparently this was a crazy party town uh, before COVID. Uh, COVID came around and then everything just kind of uh, died out and uh, I guess it just has not recovered since. Um, there was a couple other places that I heard that was supposed to be fairly crazy party uh, parts of town. And again, I thought it was just kind of dead myself. So uh, Pattaya is completely different than uh, Bangkok. Bangkok is just very compact, uh, very busy, 100 miles an hour all the time. Everybody's kind of walking around each other all the time. I, I I would say Bangkok is very much like New York, and I would say Pattaya maybe is similar to like a LA. It's very spread out. You have your coastal area, which is beautiful, by the way. The, the beach here is, is beautiful. Uh, and then you have your city area, uh, which is just like a regular city here in Thailand. You can see Pattaya is a lot more mellow here. Definitely not as crowded. Um, still cool, I like it. It's more of a laid back lifestyle. I see a lot of places like this that were closed down, I guess because of COVID. This place was a lot more busy, I guess, during uh, before COVID. In COVID, we see a lot of places like this that are shut down. Uh, but I heard it's picking up. It's picking up now that uh, we're at the end of COVID. Uh, I will say, when I first came here, I uh, made reservations at this hotel by the beach and it was only $20 a night. And so I thought, okay, it's $20 a night. It can't be very nice. Holy crap, guys. When, when I pulled up to this hotel, I was shocked. It was beautiful. It was like paradise. It was just this beautiful beach, beautiful high-end restaurants all over the place, amazing pool. Uh, from my balcony and it was just uh, way better than I thought it was going to be.
So I, I was shocked because of the price point, uh, what I got for the price uh, by the beach. I, I've only been in Thailand for a short period of time and I've only seen Bangkok and Pattaya at this point. Uh, I like both these cities. Uh, they both have good and they both have bad. I will say Bangkok, uh, great city. Um, I think if you're single, uh, I think Bangkok is probably a better city. Uh, some things I like about Bangkok is uh, a, a lot to do, a lot to see, very busy, always meeting people. There's just people always around to talk to, very busy. Things I don't like about Bangkok, traffic. traffic is horrible and you just it's stop and go stop and go so if you have to be somewhere fast in Bangkok forget about it you're gonna be late uh, it's just always the traffic is just horrible in Bangkok and Pattaya was surprisingly slow paced which I was not expecting some things I like about Pattaya is I definitely like the the, the beach the um, it's cheaper to live in Pattaya than it is in Bangkok Bangkok uh, is again cheaper than the US by far. Uh, but Bangkok, the housing is more expensive in Bangkok. Food is a little more expensive. Massages in, in Bangkok are more expensive. So in Pattaya is a little bit cheaper to live. Uh, Bangkok is a little bit more expensive. Uh, not crazy and not by a, a huge uh, margin at all, but you, you will definitely see the difference as far as uh, housing, food, and everything else. It'll be a little bit more expensive in Bangkok compared to Pattaya. One thing I noticed in uh, Pattaya since I've been here is the street dogs. There are street dogs all over the place. I didn't see, in Bangkok you would see dogs once in a while, you know, here and there, but in Pattaya there's these street dogs and they're everywhere. They're, they're, and street dogs are basically just homeless dogs that are living on the street, sleeping on the sidewalk, sleeping all over the place. And sometimes you'll see packs, like packs of these, these homeless dogs just walking around and, Look at all these dogs. So many dogs. Oh my god. Look at all these dogs. That's funny. The city here in Pattaya is not like the city in Bangkok. Uh, it's like I said, it's more spread out, uh, not as many people, uh, a lot slower pace. It's easier to get things done in Pattaya. It's easier to get around in Pattaya than it is in Bangkok. I'm going to be honest, I was really tempted on on uh, settling down here in Pattaya when I saw that I could get this condo by the beach for dirt cheap. Okay, I am interrupting this video to tell you guys that I have decided to settle down in Pattaya, Thailand. And uh, when I say settle down, I mean I'm, I'm renting a condo here in Pattaya. Uh, to be honest, I could not pass up the deal that I got. Uh, I have this condo with a beach view, as you can see behind me. I can see the beach uh, for $280 a month. I couldn't pass that up. Uh, in the U.S., it's this is not even. I cannot afford to live by the ocean in the U.S. I decided uh, between Bangkok and uh, Pattaya. I decided to choose uh, Pattaya because I've always wanted to live by the ocean, and uh, in the U.S. that was not possible. Here in Pattaya, I can live by the beach, uh, by the ocean. As you can see behind me, I'm actually on my balcony right now for $280 a month, which is unheard of in the US. So I am choosing Pattaya as my my home, but uh, I am still going to travel. I'm going to travel all over. I'm just choosing Pattaya as my base. Uh, it just makes it easier because I can keep all my things here rather than direct all my belongings all over the country. So I'm going to keep all my belongings here in my condo uh, and that makes it easier for me to uh, travel light as I travel through Thailand and uh, the rest of Asia. So yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that um, I am choosing uh, Pattaya over Bangkok because I wanted to live by the ocean. Bangkok does not have an ocean. So yeah, Pattaya is officially my, my home for now. Uh, the adventure uh, is still going on. Uh, I still have a lot of more travels to show you guys. So my next video, I will give you a tour of my condo and the area and I think you're going to like it for the price. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to show you guys what I got for the price. Uh, so I will see you guys soon. All right, peace.